Madam Chair. Um, Director Clapper, you assess in your statement for the record that Corps Al Qaeda has been on a downward trajectory since 2008 and that their ability to conduct complex, sophisticated, and large scale attacks against the homeland is significantly degraded. However, at the same time, you assess that AQAP poses a significant threat and remains intent on targeting the United States and U.S. interests overseas. What I'd like to do is to have you first um, start off, Director Clapper, but I want kind of a general discussion about al-Qaeda, uh, not just core al-Qaeda, uh, but their threat to the United States, uh, both domestically as well as overseas. And each of you have kind of a different interest there, even down to you, Director Comey, obviously, with respect to homegrown terrorists and the future there. So uh, these are kind of the questions I'd like for you to address. Warren, uh, one, how would you characterize the probability of an al-Qaeda-sponsored or inspired attack against the U.S. homeland today as compared to 2001? If al-Qaeda is evolving from a centralized core group to a decentralized global movement of multiple organizations capable of attacking the United States, would you say the threat has decreased or increased? Third, has the terrorist threat against the U.S. interests overseas increased or diminished over the past decade? And then lastly, what, what is the impact on limitations that are proposed to be put on Sections 215 and 702 likely to have on the future of the intelligence community with regard to collection? Director Clapper. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Vice Chairman Chambers. Let me, let me start, and I'll, I'll, I'll turn to others. Um, I think, um, in fact, that NCTC probably said it best recently that the, while the ideological center of the Al Qaeda movement, uh, I think, still remains uh, in the in the Fatah, the operational locus and the locus for operational planning has uh, dispersed. Um, there are some five different uh, franchises, at least and uh, in 12 countries uh, that, not, that this movement has morphed into, and we see sort of chapters of it, of course, in uh, Yemen, Somalia, um, in North Africa, uh, in Syria, et cetera. And um, many of these movements, uh, while essentially locally focused, uh, probably the most, still I think the most prominent one that has a, um, external focus, and specifically on the homeland, remains uh, AQAP, which I think we, we still continue to view as, of all the franchises, the one that has the most, uh, that poses the most immediate threat to, uh, for a potential attack on the homeland. Um, the probability of um, uh, attack uh, now compared to, to 2001 is, uh, at least for me, is a, is a very hard question uh, to answer because, uh, principally because this very, uh, dispersion and diffusion of, of the threat, whereas uh, we're, so, we're very, very focused initially, in the, uh, particularly in that, in that time period on Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda core. Now we, uh, we are facing a much more uh, dispersed threat. Um, the, what we spoke about before in Syria, what's going on there is a, uh, in maybe some respects, a new Fatah for us. Uh, and the and what's going on there, and the attraction of these foreign fighters is very, very worrisome. Um, aspirationally, uh, Al Nusra Front, to, to name one, is uh, does have uh, aspirations for attacks on the homeland. So I can't say that uh, that the, you know the threat is any less. I I think our ability to um, discern it is much improved over. Uh, what it was in the in the early part of uh, of, the, of the 2000 period, um, so I think that this dispersion and decentralization actually uh, uh, creates a different threat uh, and and a harder one to watch and detect because <coughs> of its uh, its dispersion. It's clear as well that our uh, collection capabilities are not uh, as uh, robust, perhaps, as, as they were, um, because um, the terrorists, and this is not specifically because of Snowden revelations, but generally have gotten smarter about 
um, how what, how we go about our 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 business and how we use tradecraft to uh, detect them and to thwart them. Um, as far as what impacts uh, the changes that uh, will accrue, hopefully we can, uh, particularly with the respect to 215 and the other um, uh, tools that we have, that we can minimize uh, the, the threat by uh, as we make these modifications and alterations. But in general, this is big hand little map, uh, we are in total going to certainly have less ca less capacity than, than we had in the past, and that's occasioned by the changes we're going to make as well as the, you know, the significant budget cuts we're taking. And those two things together, as I alluded to in my oral statement, uh, kind of the perfect storm that uh, we're going to we're going to contend with. And the bottom line, at least for me, for me is that we're going to have to identify and um, and go, be wise, eyes wide open, I say we, all of us, about identifying risk and managing it. Uh, let me turn to my colleagues. John? Just uh, agree with uh, General Clapper. Um, the diversity and dispersion has made it much more challenging for us. We need to rely heavily on partners and building up capacity in a number of countries throughout the world. Um, the terrorists are becoming more sophisticated, and they're going to school on the repeated disclosures and leaks so that it has allowed them to burrow in and has made it much more difficult for us to find them and uh, to uh, address the threats that they pose. So um, when I look at the threat relative to 9-11, we as a country have done, I think, a great job of uh, addressing some of the vulnerabilities that exist in our system and uh, putting together an information sharing architecture that allows us to move information very quickly. But you never know what you don't know. And with the increasing diversity of the threat and with the growth, as you pointed out, of terrorist elements in places like Syria and Yemen, uh, we have uh, a number of fronts that we need to confront uh, simultaneously. Thank you very much, um, Vice Chairman. Uh,